Hey guys, it's Void Concept here, and welcome back to Malevolence, Episode 3. So, I went off in search for desert, because a lot of people seem to be wanting glass, as well as uh, wanting to, at least to have a desert nearby so that I know I can get glass, if needed. Um, because just picking up from stuff like that is going to get really annoying really quickly. Uh, and sand should not be a rare thing. And I didn't find a desert. But I may have found one better. Horses! I, as of recording this video, I think nobody has horses yet. And I believe I heard or saw somebody talking about wanting horses. And even, even better, there's donkeys here. So that means I'll be able to bring them back and make mules. Now there's only three colors here. There's got this black, the um, slightly dark brown, and the really dark brown. Uh, but I'll make do with what I can. There's more colors than this, obviously. Um, but I did not come prepared for this. I have no saddles and no leads, although I do have string, and I know there was a swamp nearby. So I'm going to have to make another trip back home, get some saddles maybe, uh, at least get some leads, and I have the coordinates of this written down, and if I didn't I could probably find my way back here. It is a, quite a distance away from spawn, so this is going to be a process luring them all back. And of course some of these are babies. I could probably feed you and nope. I guess you can't feed them carrots to make them grow. But anyways, I'm going to um start luring these back and I'll have to make a place back at home to put them for now. And the second part of this video will be building a shop near spawn so I can sell some of these horses and get them uh, around to the other people on malevolence so when I come back I'll have better prepared uh, to bring some of these back hello there so on my way back to spawn I found another plains with more horses. So, and get away from here. Um, so yeah, I've got even another color to lure back, and these guys are actually closer. Let's see, is there any other uh, horses nearby? Those are cows up there. Uh, I think those are the only ones in this biome, maybe? Yeah, lots of cows. It's turning to nighttime. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have another color for sale. Awesome. Alright, so I'm back home and I've made some changes, which I should probably go over first before I go um, back for the horses. So I've got a pip of um, animals here. Been breeding them and... Uh, these fences on the outside are so chickens get trapped. No, actually, I'm, I'm kidding. It's so that they don't spawn inside of the wall when the chunk is unloaded and then reloaded and then suffocate. I had many mobs or animals do that, and it was quite annoying just going in there and seeing uh, some blue wool or whatever. And I've also added a map, which hasn't been updated. Uh, well... Some of these chunks have been uh, built on now uh, from when I started this. So I am right here, and right there is spawn. So I am quite a distance away, um, although I'm not that far. And yeah, I just decided to make a little map. And by little, I mean pretty big. And although this is yellow right here, that's actually gravel. Uh, this is an Extreme Hills M biome. Yeah, I wish it was a desert, but no, it's not. So, yeah, that's 
what I did there. Um, I've expanded Sugarcane Farm pretty big now. Uh, these are still about the same size and then lots of wheat still, which I haven't used all that many wheat. And furnaces, I'll take that. And that, and I'm going to throw in that. And yes, in here I've added more stuff. I finally got diamonds, although I'm not using my diamond pickaxe yet, and I should probably keep these two together. And I'm going to need that because I got some slime balls for leads. Uh, so let's do this. Ten leads. Looks good. Uh, I can make more. Awesome. And I've got these two saddles here. I'll throw these in here for now and hopefully I don't forget about them. Got more chicken. Uh, let me throw some other random stuff in here. But yeah, lots of sugar cane. Um... Yeah, I think that is going to about do it. I'm keeping this bed on me so I can skip nights. Yeah. Alright. Two saddles is going to be more than enough. The leads is what I actually need. And I'm going to go with... Or make some fences as well. Just so I can... Put them on. Uh, Alright. And I'm going to take these as well. I'm going to need lots of food. They are quite a distance out there. And I will cut back once I reach one of the groups. Alright, and I am back at the first batch of horses here. He's too small to ride. I'm going to try to find... Oh, 13 health. And he doesn't seem all that slow. This may be a good horse right off the bat. That always seems to be the case, is the wild ones are the best. Once you breed them, they, they become worse, even though that's not supposed to be the case. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I'm just super unlucky. Come on. Let me put a saddle on you. There we go. And I think... I'm gonna do is let's see how fast are you oh you're even faster man wild horses all right so let's see if I do this I'm gonna have to get off to do that let's see will he keep up Looks like he's keeping up pretty nice. Although I'm kind of pulling him along as well, and no longer. Uh, I should get on the slower horse, probably. Still fast horse. And I'll come, I'll probably come back for the baby one. We'll see. Uh, but yes, I'm going to lure these two back, and then go for the other group. And I'm back. So it's been another day now, it's now the morning time, and I've got uh, most of those horses lured back to my place, and now have this mule. And this mule is full of red wool, uh, except for a couple stacks. Uh, you should have more red wool than that. Well, oh well. If I need more, I can always go back home and get some. But what I'm going to be doing is building a barn type thing at spawn here so that I can sell horses. And although that right there would be a pretty good spot for it, I was thinking kind of out of the way here so it's not taking up too much room. I've, I'm still looking around, though. So I'm thinking kind of back here, in this corner. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of terraforming. And the barn isn't all that small. But, 
I think this will be a good area. So I'm going to chop down some trees, terraform it a little bit, and hopefully it'll be flat by the time I come back. Alright, it's flat, but it also isn't long enough. I kind of want it to start somewhere about here. It's the corner. And it needs to be 17 this way, which means I'm going to need to knock out some of this hill. So, and then I'm going to make it look better as well. Because I did kind of uh, chop this off right here. Kind of obvious to see that. Um, so I'm going to make this look more natural. Uh, and yeah, I'll be back once I take out some of this hill. Alright, that's looking a little bit better. And I've got the lengths that I need right here. Uh, once it... Um, all grasses itself back in, it'll be even better. And I have no idea why I'm getting this lag at the moment. Let's see, is there anything else going in the background? Oh. Obviously, so I'm gonna have to pause before I record again. Let this background process end. And that process is finally done. So, let me replace this with red wool now. Looks like I got quite a bit of dirt from that, so that's a good thing at least. Alright, that one there. I seem to say alright a lot. But, yeah. So, this will, this build is going to require quite a bit of red wool, and I need to, I can throw one seed away. Dirt is more important than a seed, I would say at this point. Uh, before, like when you're starting a world, it may be the, the other way around, but... Alright, so this is going to be the general shape of it, I think. Here, let me count this off again. It's, a, it's about a square. It's uh, 16 wide by 17 deep. Um, I could have gone skinnier, but I'm not going to. <laughs> And so let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, yep, looks like it all matches up. And I'm just going to assume this is 17. And we're going to have a opening in the front here. That is 4. And did I get that in the middle? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get the frame. Actually, no, I'm, I'll build the frame on camera. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. Then, uh, no, nope, I'm not going to be able to do that trick. Which means I'll have to do that. Uh, need to this on my bar. It's another two up, then another two. I need to. Oh, I'll just do that. So two up, then it's another one over, then it's two over. Did I get that right? Is that matching up? That looks like it. Then it's four over the door. And then you go down and repeat the process on the other side. So I won't show this next part. And so this is the general shape of the building. But I just realized something. That arc right there is supposed to be in white. So I'm going to have to tear that part down and redo it with some white wool. I've got more on you, right? No. Nope. So hopefully I have enough white wool for this. I think I do. So be back in a second. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to fill in the rest of this part. Well, actually, no, I'll do another frame in the back here. All right, so I've got the second frame in and I'm working on the walls now. Uh, so 
This is going to take a while. And I will be back in a second. Alright, so it's starting to take shape. But there's still some other things missing. I haven't finished the back wall, obviously, but... Uh, that's a minor thing. Got plenty of red wool left. Uh, but... If you noticed, I had some gray wool over here. And not a small amount, either. So let me put away my red wool and grab that. And then we'll work on the roof. Which... It's going to start here and go all the way around. And I've got a little bit of a path uh, here that I can get up on using some parkour. Fairly simple jump, but yeah, uh, and it will go actually one out like this. And... I'll probably, I'll, I'll just do this one line, or the uh, outside here, and show you what it looks like. And then I will do the rest of it off camera. Almost done. Just a couple more. This is going to get interesting, I think. I'm trying to get this last one. No, actually, I can just do that. Alright. So that's what it's going to look like. I think it actually looks pretty good. Uh, and of course, I'm going to do some more decoration so it's not just a white or a red wall with a white trim. Uh, I have a plan for the front here and I think the back. Um, but I'll show you guys that later. So let me finish the roof. And the exterior is nearly complete. I still haven't done the back wall there and to get the uh, rest of my red wool. Um, but I need to look at my test world to see where exactly I've placed uh, the thing that goes up there. And actually, there is one thing that I can do right now. And that is change this to white. Nope, that's not one that I wanted to get rid of, but okay. Uh, still didn't want to get rid of that other one there. So, there we go. And, looking a little bit better. So, I think it's about there that the window is, but I need to check to make sure. So... I'll be back in a second, and more progress will be done. So, there it is. Exterior nearly complete. 99%. I am missing one wall. And some windows in here, but I need to... And actually, windows up there as well. Um, but I need to figure out where to place those. But, why is it always one? One short, one too many. One. Why? I don't get it. But yeah, I'm going to have to take another trip back home because I don't think there are any sheep around here. Jake probably killed them all. Uh, and I need glass anyways, which I know there's a sand pit near my house. So I think I'm going to take you with. And then swap you out for my faster horse. So be back in a second. Alright, I'm back, and I can finally say that the exterior is complete. So now I'm going to work on the interior, and this is part I'm going to actually show on camera. So how I'm going to have these pens, there's going to be eight pens, one for each of the seven types of horses and donkeys. So not one for mules, but mules will be... I actually have another plan. I'm going to do probably a smaller building, um, maybe here, and have like a horse pen somewhere that will be actually like the horses sold, and the ones in the barn here are going to be um, the ones that are bred. So I'm going to try and get two of each color horse in here. Hopefully, 
maybe. Uh, so here we go. So nope, that's not where I wanted that uh, hatchet. And I need to sneeze, but I'm not going to now because I announced it to the world. So each one of these is going to be three thick and what is this five deep? Um, so what did I do? Did I miscount? Is this 16 instead of 17? It's 16 instead of 17. <sighs> well, I think the easiest thing to do is going to be push this wall out this way. So I'm going to go like this. And then I'll have to fix that. Uh, so, one's going to be here, here, and here. And just because I need torches in here, I think they were on the third one here. How many times can I say here? <laughs> nope, that's not... Well, that's going to be needed there anyway. Hi, cow. This is a horse place. You're not supposed to be here. So all this part is going to be staying the same. That's why I'm not stopping to fix the outside yet. But I think after I get these separators in, I'm going to probably have to push it out. And I need more wood. Alright, and this part is done, so let me push this wall back out again. Alright, there we go. So, of course, right after I finish tearing down all of the scaffolding, I realize I never did this. So next thing I'm going to do is the rest of this interior here. There's going to be a second floor to the thing here. Uh, I think it was there at least. Uh, yeah, right? Or was it one down? No, it's, it's right there. All right. Oh, I forgot to take down a corner. Uh, so I guess I'm going to fill in the second floor and be back in a second. Well, I just killed a witch and got a potion. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> Although, witch spawning uh, during normal nighttime is new as well. And I never bothered to go for a witch's hut, so... But anyways, in here is now pretty much ready to hold horses. Up here, I have plans for this window here. Um, but I don't... I don't know if I have the supplies for it right now. I definitely don't have them here, so I can't build it yet. This is also going to be like a storage area here. Uh, but I'm going to move some horses over, I think, next. So I think that may be the end of this video. I. Uh, because all I have to do now is some minor work, and if I am going to build another building, may as well do it in the next video. So that is going to be it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.